Hello and welcome to part three of my ongoing look at the Power Rangers Super Mega Force 5 inch action toy line. I have a trio of figures for you today. So we have In Space Red Ranger, Time Force Quantum Ranger, or Other Red if you want, and the SPD Omega Ranger. So, of course, we're taking a look at the box first. Nice picture of Superman Force Red. Picture of In Space there, In Space logo. And this packaging is slightly different than what we've seen before. Because before there was just the collect them all section on the back. On these ones, you actually have a bio of the character, of Andros. So. There it is in English. And it gives a little bit of detail. So, uh, team in space, of course. Name, Andros. Of course, the names of his weapons. And the Megazords that he wield, or just the Zords. And it also comes with this little thing here, which I have sitting over here removed, which is a toy checklist. So, showing this off. Just all the toys that come. So, we've got Action Heroes Wave 1, 2, 3, which is actually kind of confusing. And then the Double Battle Action Figures, the Deluxe effects figures, the armored might figures, which I have most of, except for two specific ones. And then, as you can see, anything in the Zord Builder side. And on the other side, you get all the key packs available currently. Not to me, because I live in Canada. And I've seen In Space. I have Wild Floors. I also have Lost Galaxy, but here you go, if you want to look at those. And it also has a $5 off coupon for the Megazord or the Morpher. I may get the Megazord one day. So, of course, we're going to take a look at the action figures, starting with In Space Red. And this, by far, is one of my favorite Power Ranger suit designs and everything's here. You've got the the little screen on his forehead the nice silver mouth plate. Looking at his head, does it not look a bit too big? I mean, if you look at the picture let's compare here and for some reason that head just looks a little bit too fat. I don't know, I just look at it, it looks a bit too fat. But you've even got the little symbol in his white line. It's not painted, but who cares? Then, of course, you've got the little yellow necktie the, the Mega Ranger suit designs have. And the iconic uh, chest detail of all five Ranger colors. Black, yellow, red, pink, blue doesn't continue on the other side, but there's a white stripe there. And then, you've, again, you've got the Mega Ranger, uh, you've got male symbol there. He's got, of course, the white shoulders, white gloves, white boots, white belt. Overall, this is, again, one of my favorite suit designs. Articulation is the same as normal. you got your head, joint, your bit of neck, shoulders, 360 in and out, elbow joint, swivel at the cuff, and nothing at the wrist, hips, nice range of motion, knee, and boot swivel. And he comes with two accessories. First, his Astro Blaster, which is uh, nicely molded, looks bright, say for a bit of missing blue paint and you can plug it just into his belt there 
or in his hand. I tend to use the hole in the belt because it's there. And then you've got his other main accessory, the spiral saber, which this may just be my opinion, but this is not the stupidest sword ever. I mean, Power Ranger fans, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but this thing doesn't even look like it has a sharp edge to slash somebody with. It's just a drill. I mean, if I remember, one of his finishing attacks did spin it, so I imagine that can create some impact, and that tip might be pointy. But the drill bit here, this doesn't make sense on a sword. Like, if you're slashing, it's it's not going to do any damage. But overall, it's a nice molding, and I'm glad he came with it. Wish he came with the, uh, what's it now? What was his name now? His uh, accessory, his little wrist, his wrist thing. God, I can't remember. But there was a lot of nice attention to detail on this figure. Even the little air vents on the side of his helmet were done, which is very nice. <laughs> He's even got an L and R on his boots. Oh well. Next up, going in order, is the Time Force Quantum Major. Next picture there. And again, a bio of Eric, Time Force Quantum Ranger. Or, uh, if you want to be specific, he's Time Fire. And then, Time Force, Eric Myers, Quantum Defender. He still has his Silver Guardian Blaster, and the Q-Rex. Time Force Q-Rex, not the Superman Force Q-Rex. So here's the figure, and again, it's very nice. It's the exact same mold, so it's got all the same articulation, but all the cues of the Quantum Ranger are there, all the black, the little silver line, even the belt buckle, which isn't painted gold, but oh well. He even got his Quantum Morpher there just in straight solid black plastic. If you want to look at that, no, no paint, but there is some nice molding detail for the buttons. And again, there's something just off with the head. It looks a bit stretched out, in my opinion. I mean, it's nicely detailed. The little mouth there, and again, the silver silver streak running all the way to the back, which is a rarity. But it just, for some reason, it just looks a little too stretched out, in my opinion. And of course, he's got all the same articulation, even the right below the knee joint. And I haven't shown this off, but you can pop it off if you want to mix and match and unfortunately he only comes with one accessory his quantum defender in gun mode I really wish they would have given him one in sword mode because as big as this is and as nicely molded as it is it's just a really weird dinosaur head looking gun and I think he needs a sword of course again you can peg it into his belt which looks ridiculously out of proportion if I can there it is find the hole there's your weapon storage and just to show it off here in his hand it's it's nice that it's so big but it's a bit too big he's even got the little time force signature things on the side of his head So, time, Quantum Ranger, again, a nice choice. And then we get to, my opinion, the star of this set, the Omega Ranger, or Deca Break, depending on which side of the Pacific you live on. Again, it's a very nice suit design. You get a nice picture here, that thing there. You get a bio for Sam. Damn, I can't remember Deca Break's character name. I remember Kohai. I can't remember his name. 
what it was a couple of months ago or a month or two ago that I watched Deck of Rangers. But there you go. You got buy on Sam. Team Team SPD Space Patrol Delta. Sam the Omega Morpher Electro Mode, which is just one of the modes of the Omega Morpher, and the Omega Max Cycle. So here's him and. This toy looks amazing. I think this mold was specifically designed for this suit. Because everything is here. You've got the perfect helmet with the gold badged SPD logo. Even the little wireless speaker on his mouth plate. Down to the blue neck and blue shoulder with blue joint to match. And the nice blue stripe down the side. To his nice V, and not his V, his VI, that gold stripe is supposed to be the I for six. Even the gold SPD badge is nicely done, and the guy's buckle done nicely. He doesn't come with any accessories, but of course he doesn't. He's the Omega Ranger. His fists are his weapons. But you've got the Omega Morpher nicely molded. Again, missing paint, but. That's what the legacy figures get, is that paint. And, uh, yeah, you got the red siren lights on the sides of his head, which is a really nice touch. And just everything about this guy looks perfect. Say for this mold always being a bit too muscular, but who cares? We've got 20 years to deal with muscular figures. Leave it by now. Of course, he has the, all the same articulation. Even his back, the blues continued nicely. I was just such so surprised by how perfect this guy looks. He even got the gold SPD shoulder badge. I mean, nothing was taken away from this suit design for this toy. Of course, the gold cuffs with the blue stripe on his wrists and boots. And that's about it for the Omega Ranger. God, this toy line just slowly keeps coming at me. I mean, apparently I keep missing waves that show up in America but don't show up in Canada. Yeah, I'll find them whenever I find them you guys will know. So, thank you. And of course, if you like this video, click the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out more of my videos. And always, catch you on the flip side.